Follow my keep profession on the key possession. I'm OD aggressive when I run the rock. See me flexing in the winning section. If they press a bombing on them off the top, slump a hater, leave them in the field. Or I'm in the kitchen whipping up a dot. Took it from the bottom to the top. Certified man and money shot. Toss a bullet, hit you in the chest, and send a burn across your face from mind to slot. Please don't test them, I bring heat and brush it. Have my hitter brush, you move you off the spot. Slump a hater, leave them in the field. Or I'm in the kitchen whipping up a dot. Took it from the bottom to the top. Certified man and money shot. If you guys are looking for fast, cheap, reliable muck coins, check out my sponsor at MOXP.com and use discount code MONEYSHOT to get 5% off your order. Link in the description below. The champ is here! Welcome back, money team. This is Madden Money Shot. Sniffing out the Madden cheese as always. That's right, we're back in Madden. As we still play both games, i just having a little bit more fun with college, if I'm being honest. But in today's video, I'm going to show you guys the number one defense that I've been using in Madden 25. As I think this defense is an absolute cheat code, I'm going to show you guys the results of what it looks like. But as always, if you guys want to see more Madden videos, because like I said, I really am enjoying college a lot, uh, make sure to be a subscriber, hit the like button, and let me know in the comment section if you guys want to see more Madden videos. Other than that, I was trying to show you guys some plays out of my Kansas City Chiefs offensive and Las Vegas Raiders defensive ebooks, which you guys can download instantly. Links in the description or the top end comment if you guys want to check that out. But about two weeks ago, I made a video where I basically told you guys that for whatever reason, uh, there is some sort of glitch in the game where if your opponent rage quits against you, that a lot of times it'll reset your playbooks and give you guys some sort of random playbook to use. So in this series of games, I was still dealing with that issue, but I still got a lot of really good rage quit footage using the defense that i wanted to show you guys anyway so that's why i'm still going to show you guys this footage now this is a pretty common issue so if you guys are having that problem i will have links in the description as well as on screen at the end of the video for that video if you guys want to figure out how to fix that and it'll also be popping up in the top right hand corner right now so if you guys are having that problem where it's not letting you choose playbooks i will have uh you know information for that for you now luckily though the defensive playbook that i get assigned i think is arizona's i'm not 100 percent sure but it's very close to the raiders defensive ebook that i have and i get to use the same plays that i wanted to show you anyway but the offense is completely different so the second i stop my opponent and I get the ball on offense I can tell right away that this is not my offensive playbook because it looks nothing like Kansas City's what the fuck is that so I offer my opponent a friendly quit and my first opponent actually accepts it now, at first, I thought that maybe I was just stuck with the team playbook. Sometimes it'll give you the team-specific playbook, but I didn't think that was Philadelphia's because I do know their playbook a little bit better than that. So I tried again. I went back out. I tried to pick the same playbooks and see if I had the same issue. And since I started this game out on defense, I can't really tell if I'm using the right playbook or not because a lot of these defensive plays are in both books. So it's not until I get an interception on defense and I see the offense once again, and I know this is not my playbook. So I once again offer my opponent a friendly quit. How about new? No? But he wants all the smoke. And since he won't allow me a friendly quit, that means I'm going to have to force him to rage quit. And the defense I'm going to do that with is going to be the 3-4 odd. Although in the first game, I accidentally picked the 3-4 under, and it works the exact same way. So if you don't have the 3-4 odd, if you have the 3-4 under instead, it'll work in either one of these defenses. And the play I'm going to pick is going to be the cover three match. This is pretty much the only defense I've been running all year. And I feel like it gives you the best coverage. But you can really do this blitz out of just about any zone coverage in the formation. Just make sure that this particular defender here who's covering the quarter flat is going to be on the left side of the field because I'm going to be covering the quarter flat on the right side. So if you have to flip this play to do that, make sure you flip the play in the huddle. The setup for this play is super simple. So all you want to do is spread the defensive line and the linebackers, which is going to be D pad to the left and up, and then D pad to the right and up. And then if you want to blitz, just hit the D pad to the right and down the right stick to send all the linebackers. After that, you just have to hover this guard gap here before dropping back into coverage, and a lot of times you'll get an A gap from the other blitzing middle linebacker. On the first play, though, he gets it out pretty quick, but I'm all over that as I follow the drag into the cross receiver and knock the ball out. As you can see, there's a lot of user responsibility when you want to send the house like I'm sending here, but it's very difficult to run on this play based off the fact that the alignment is spread so far. A lot of times a running back really can't get around it, even in a formation like this with multiple tight ends on that side. But you don't always have to blitz. I recommend always showing like you're going to blitz and then sometimes letting the coverage drop back. As you can see right there, he tries to throw underneath, but that time we left the seam flat there to take care of that. As you don't want to blitz every single down, but you always want to make your opponent think that you are. On fourth and sixth, you can see why I have 
have the play flip with the seam flat to the left side. As my opponent throws a quick slant and the coverage is there despite the fact that he held onto it. On the next play, we run the blitz once again. You can see how if it was a run play, it would have got stuffed. As it turns out to be a pass play and the edge rusher gets the quarterback anyway. What really makes this formation great is the fact that the user has to throw the ball very quickly. And this will allow me a lot of opportunities for user picks. On this play, my first responsibility is going to be these two receivers on the right side here. But he's been throwing to the receiver on the left a lot. So I try to jump that only for him to throw to the tight end. But that still doesn't change the fact that I'm just going to look for the first thing that's open. Because I know that's what my opponent's going to do as well. On this next play here, since this receiver's in so close, I decide to press. As these outside cornerbacks will typically match those receivers closest to them anyway. And basically treat it like a man coverage. And since it's a tightly condensed package, there's no real threat of it getting over the top of these cornerbacks. So now I know I really only got to watch the tight end, but I see a receiver getting open over the middle, so I abandon that immediately. Gotcha, bitch. And we're going the other way, but we know that Nicobe Dean is not fast enough, so we try to flip it back to Isaiah Rogers so that maybe he can take it to the house for the intro of this video. But we do get inside the red zone, and now my opponent's going to have to deal with a loss. Let that be a lesson to you guys. If somebody offers you a friendly quit, don't be a jerk and just take it. I try to change the team playbook one more time and play another game, but I get the Bears once again in the next game. And he doesn't have much success against his defense either. So I give him a quick fourth and one, and I decide to choose the pinch buck zero to send the exact same blitz. And you can see how this pressure comes in the exact same way. <laughs> As we force a quick turnover on downs, only to see the exact same playbook. I mean, it's bad enough that I can't use a custom playbook online, but now I can't use the team playbook that I want. But the difference is this guy actually accepts the friendly quit. So at this point, I figure if it's going to make me use the team specific playbook, I might as well use the Kansas State Chiefs since I already put out their offense and their defense, and I could show you guys plays from that. And this playbook has the 3-4 under as well. So on the very first play, we send that blitz, and you can see how devastating this A-gap is as he comes right up the A-gap to force a bad accuracy throw. On the next play, though, since I'm sending the house, he hits me with a screen play, and that was perfectly timed as he almost gets the first down. So on the next play, I make it look like I'm setting up that blitz, only this time we're hard flatting letting everybody drop back into coverage and he hits me with another screenplay that's just as successful as he gets the first down one of the bigger issues with this defense is its actual run defense if your opponent runs the ball inside and you're in this gap you're going to get blocked which is going to make it harder to stop the run so sometimes i'll use this outside linebacker who's already in a blitzing animation and just spread everybody and then hover the middle of the field like a middle linebacker but on this next play here i see the motion so i chase it and i think he wanted to throw to that receiver but instead he throws like a mid screen before we send that all-out blitz on the very next play to get the stop and force him to a third and four. And chase it one more time, but I'm not falling for the same play twice as we wait on that wide receiver screen and shut it down. And he tries to kick a field goal from here, but he must be having trouble with the new kick meter. Bruh. And now the moment of truth. Oh, come on! So using the new team didn't fix the problem. And sure enough, when I offer him a friendly quit, Fuck you! So now I'm getting tired of this shit, so I switched to a five wide receiver set and just start airing it out. As I got one of the best offenses in the game, so I'm going to force a rage quit immediately as we go right down the field, mostly just dinking and dunking to Travis Kelsey. And now in defense, we're sending that blitz on every single play as we're going to get this guy out of this game one way or the other. And we just unleash the dogs as the pressure's coming from everywhere before we guess pass on third and long. And you can see the difference as he doesn't go after the running back before we force him to punt on fourth and 18. And we're not falling for the fake. Nope. As he tries to go for it. And he should have just took the friendly quit when I offered it to him. See ya. So that's that's the video. If you guys want to see more defensive videos like this in Madden, please make sure to be a subscriber. Like button, let me know in the comment section. If you want to see more about this glitch and how to fix it if you're suffering from it, I'll have that popping up on screen. And until next time, thanks for watching, man. Wish it out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.